And that storm is barreling toward Hawaii as a Category 3 storm. This is drone video of the flooding they're already seeing on the Big Island around Hilo. And keep in mind, more rain is coming. This is just the beginning. Tonight, a hurricane warning is still in effect for both Maui and Oahu. As the center of the storm creeps closer to those islands, the worst is expected in the overnight hours through tomorrow night. Now, it's not going to be a direct hit, but it won't take a direct hit for the storm to have a major impact. Hurricane Lane is churning up waves along the shores of Hawaii's Big Island. The island chain is now under a state of emergency. Hawaii is going to be impacted by Hurricane Lane. The question is how bad? Torrential rains have already been falling. This neighborhood in Hilo became a lake, forcing one person to swim to safety before help arrived. Elsewhere, children played in the floodwaters. That's the key, how slow the storm is moving. It's putting so much rain down, 19 on the ground right now. And now you're going to put on top of that about another foot and a half more of rain. The rushing Wailuku River in Hilo attracted a crowd. Spectators stood on a bridge during a break in the rain to capture video and take pictures. I've seen it get pretty raging before, um, and I don't feel like, uh, I still feel like we're going to be blessed and like we're going to be okay. While the sights are thrilling, authorities warn of impending danger in this uncertain storm. We're extremely concerned about the, the potentials for um, inland flooding, uh, landslides occurring, and damage to the uh, transportation communications infrastructure. Storm's not moving that quickly, so I think flooding may be the biggest legacy of this storm. Category 3 storm right now, sustained winds 120 miles per hour, but the center of the storm will likely stay offshore. That is wonderful news because if it moved onshore, we'd be talking about winds around Honolulu 80, 90, 100 miles per hour. We're now looking at half of that with the center staying offshore, making a big left turn, making its closest pass this time tomorrow night into Saturday morning, likely as a Category 1 or Category 2 hurricane. But as we mentioned, doesn't take a direct hit to have a big impact from a hurricane, and we will have that big impact. Hurricane Lane is going to dump a lot of rain, storm surge, and some strong gusty winds over the next 36 hours. Back to you. Appreciate it, Paul. Thanks. Tonight, airlines are canceling flights as conditions deteriorate. United won't be flying in or out of Maui or Honolulu tomorrow, and other airlines are expected to do the same. United did add two flights from Honolulu to San Francisco today to help people get out. All major carriers are also waiving rebooking fees for Hawaii-bound flights. And the storm is also having an impact on ocean traffic to Hawaii. At least one Matson cargo ship that left the port of Oakland is currently parked in the Pacific, waiting for the storm to pass. Meanwhile, store shelves are emptying fast all over the islands. Currently, Matson has uh, several hundred Containers of goods uh, sitting at the terminal waiting for pickup once the terminal reopens. Um, and we also have uh, additional vessels that are scheduled to arrive in the next several days. In fact, Matson says it's positioning its ships so they can come in just as soon as those ports reopen.